state-owned labor and two labor unions in the energy sector have called on the president to also consider listing ECG on the stock exchange instead of only focusing on VRA and Gridco. Reacting to the president's statements, general secretaries of the Public Services Workers Union and the Public Utilities Workers Union are of the view the stock exchange would boost investor confidence. General Secretary of the Public Services Workers Union, PSWU, Richard Ampabin, was happy about the government decision to list VRE and Gridco on the stock exchange. He believed that listing on the stock exchange would raise the financial threshold of the two entities to meet the growing demands of Ghanaians. Currently, according to Ampabin, VRE pays $9 million to CARPA every month, which has affected the finances of the company but charged governments to also consider listing ECG on the stock exchange instead of only VRA and Great Gold. In Takrade, it's a listed public company in Abu Dhabi, and they are here. So what I'm foreseeing is that if Voter River Authority, if Great Gold, if ECG are listed as public companies, they can go beyond our shores to operate and bring more revenue even to the states. The PSWU also encouraged governments to transparently float shares when the two entities are listed on the stock exchange. If we are floating shares, it should be at the stock market, it should be opened, there should be transparency, and ask people to buy the shares so that the ownership becomes um, more f uh, exactly so that no one individual or one company uses the back door to buy these organizations. However, the Public Utilities Workers Union Pugu also asked the government to stick to its decision to cancelling some of the power agreements. Why should thermal uh, production from VRE be cheaper than thermal production from some of the other IPPs. Why should they? When basically the mix are almost the same. So we need to look at these things critically so that Ghana will be better saved with the natural resources that we have and the state assets that are in our disposal. Its General Secretary Michael Eduma Tanyantichi lauded government's efforts to propose in a dialogue to resolve problems on the sale of ECG. The extent of capital flight will not be like giving the company on this concession arrangement to a, a foreign company coming from outside our shores who would do basically the things we can easily do and then take away the chunk of the money from our country.